Hey hikers, welcome back to my first gear review since finishing my JMT through hike. Today, we are going to review the lighter one bear canister that I took with me during my JMT through hike. And we are going to give this sucker away today. The name of the company that makes this product is called Lighter One. They make two different types of bear canisters. There's the bigger version, which is called the Big Daddy. Now, the cubic inches on this is 650, which basically means you can carry somewhere in between four to six days worth of food, just depending on how small and how well you do with packing the food inside of here. Now, the Little Sammy, is 300 cubic inches and it is uh, from a weight standpoint considerably lighter than the Big Daddy. Now the Big Daddy comes in on my scale at 42 ounces. Now that is the weight of the actual canister itself which is made of polycarb and then Included into that 42 ounces is the weight of the lid. Now the lid weighs six total ounces and then there's also a handle or an inner support that goes inside that weighs an ounce. So this adds seven ounces to the polycarb material to make a total of 42 ounces. Now that does not include the lid. There's a lid that comes with this that weighs 2.8 ounces if you end up bringing the lid of the cook pot as well. Now as it pertains to the Lil Sammy, it comes in at one pound, five ounces or 21 ounces for the smaller version. That's just the canister. Then of course it is going to take both the lid and that inner support beam as we talked about before. They work for the same canister. So uh, it's the same lid, same inner support beam. So you're gonna add seven ounces to that. Now again, the small canister is 300 cubic inches. So it will house less than half of what you're gonna be able to house in the bigger canister. Now, the reason why I went with this canister and what I loved about the idea behind it is it has multi-functional purpose. The top of the bear canister lid duels as a cook pot. And what you do is you use that inner support beam as the handle. Now this support beam that uh, goes inside actually gets held in place by a couple of screws that you have on your canister. The idea behind this is you place the cook pot handle inside and now you have your cook pot. So this really replaces the need of a cook pot. That's what the idea is. Now, what I would do is then boil my water or whatever you're cooking by putting this on top of your stove. Now, I mentioned that it comes with a lid and you would throw your lid on top. Now, the, uh, the lid doesn't have any other purpose than acting as a lid for the cook pot. Uh, it's not gonna do anything with the actual bear canister itself, but that is what the idea is. So that details pretty much all of the specs of the Big Daddy and really the idea behind Lighter One's products. Now, let's talk about the review. Let's, let's talk about what I love about the Big Daddy from Lighter One. First, I love the idea. The idea behind this, I think, is ingenious with using something that doesn't have a lot of multifunctionality out there on the trail, a, a bear canister, outside of being able to use this as a chair with the use that you have to use with keeping all your food in this, but being able to use this as your cook pot. The other thing that I loved about this canister is compared to what I've had before, which is the Bear Vault, I thought that it was a lot easier to get these screws off than it was with the Bear Vault. So the Bear Vault has that little indent when you're screwing off the handle, you kind of have to push in and I don't know, I never was a big fan of it, but this is all it takes to put it on and take it off. In a previous video, I talked about having to use like a flathead screwdriver to screw these screws in. I never did that on the trail. Didn't have a problem and never really thought the need to do that. 
because with this, you can screw your handle or your cook pot in pretty tight, tight enough where it's not going to be any issue with animals getting in. So I really like the idea of uh, the screws. Now, some people don't like the idea of the screws. I've heard some people talk about something chewing off this little plastic piece here or falling off and then them having an issue with where to place their screws. Using this out on the trail, I used this probably about five or six times and got a really good feel of what worked and what didn't. And although I love the idea of this, there were quite a few things that I would change, but let's talk about the things I did not like about this canister. So what I didn't like about this canister, first and foremost, you know, because of the weight, you know, compared to other canisters, that is something that's of course a drawback. This comes in about one ounce heavier than the bear vault and the bear vault itself can hold about an extra 50 cubic inches. I think it's 700 cubic inches for the bear vault 500 uh, and it weighs one less ounce than this one right here. Uh, so that obviously is something that is a little bit of a turnoff, but makes up for it because you got the multifunctional purpose of being able to use this as a cook pot, of course. The next thing I didn't like was just how heavy duty the lid was. The lid is not something that I thought really was necessary that, uh, they needed to make so thick. I mean, this thing is built like a tank, weighs 2.8 ounces, and the only use for this is to cover your cook pot. I just didn't think they needed something so heavy duty. Now, did have a lot of people that told me to make my own lid out of tin foil or something and bring that out there. I didn't do that because I wanted to truly test this entire product, how it's sold to you. Now, the next thing that I found, and this is something that was mentioned in, uh, in the comments of my other video when I did this, but is just how flimsy that the pot handle is. So there's a couple things the pot handle that I don't like. Uh, the first part is the flimsiness of it. So this is how it sits and I'll do a demonstration here and show you what it's like to actually pour water from this into whatever you're transferring the water to. Now if you're just eating out of this it's probably not as big of a deal but when you put the extra weight in here this thing does get a little flimsy. What I got here is 16 ounces of water here and I found that uh, 16 ounces or two cups is about the limit on what you can fill in this pot because remember you're boiling it now maybe you could get an extra four ounces or something like that but one of the issues is you have these holes on the side which is where your screws screw into the handle which is the inner support beam of your canister so you have to have those holes in there, and if you put too much water in here, it's going to start spilling out the side, it might burn you, or if you're cooking something, obviously it's got to stay below that level, or else you're going to lose some food or whatever else in there. But as you can see right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try pouring this out into the bot, and I'll kind of just show you the issue that you have here. So when you first start pouring, it's not that big of an issue, but once you get down to about the last quarter, this thing kind of just caves in just like that. And, uh, and that's what the big problem was. Now, what you'd almost have to do is secure this because this, this handle right here, how it is attached is just never going to be very secure. But you just got done boiling this, so this lid is probably pretty hot. So you just, you know, it just makes it a little bit of an issue, actually a really big issue from a safety standpoint. Now what I did when I did boil water was I would pour it into something and I would kind of use the pot or the, if it was a dehydrated bag uh, to kind of hold it up so that that wouldn't happen. But that's one thing that uh, was really annoying with this cooking system. The other thing, and you can check this out here, I put this handle or this lid on here notice an issue? Yeah, so you're going to have some heat escaping. There's nothing you can do about it uh, unless if you take the handle off and just boil the water without the handle, but now that doesn't make any sense either. The other couple things that I did not like about the canister is the size of the opening up here. So the size of the opening 
here is smaller than the actual size of the canister. Now I get why they did that because if they made a lid the size of the canister and they didn't make this so slim, now you're adding extra weight on top of the you know already heavy canister. So then it probably wouldn't make much sense for you to get the canister because now they're just expending the extra weight. So, so I get that, but uh, it doesn't mean that I like it with it being you know slimmer up here. And then notice with the support beam in here, at the very end, you need this needs to be able to stick in here and you need to screw the screws in here. Well, if you have this thing completely packed full, what I noticed was if I had an issue with this being too full, it started to lift up the inner support bar. And when I would go in to screw the screws in, you can see that the handle, the hole is right there uh, when this cook pot or lid, whatever you want to call it, is flush on top, but it lines up well. But if that handle was being pushed up because you had too much stuff in here, now those don't line up. So I found myself after my resupply having to really pack and cram stuff in here so that this would stay uh, flat and just sit on the little platforms on the inside so that uh, I could screw the screws in here and didn't have an issue with that. That's everything that I disliked about this entire setup. Now I did bring with me, and I'm really glad I did bring with me, my bot. I'll be doing a review on the bot here at a different time, but I brought this with me. And uh, the issue that I had was when I was cooking more than one dinner. So if I had like two packets of ramen or I did ramen bombs, which is ramen noodles and mashed potatoes, this cook pot did not have the capacity on top to be able to fit that much food inside here. So I would use my bot for that in those cases. So that's the other issue is when when you are using this cook pot, you are limited to just the capacity. Uh, and remember, you have these holes on top, which limits your capacity of what you could uh, put in there. Now, if you're just using the top just to boil water and you're pouring it into, say, some sort of, of freezer bag or the freeze dried bags because you're going to eat out of there, I think this would work just fine. I did that quite a handful of times and had no issues. But again, just depends on what you're eating as well. And it would definitely uh, impact how practical this setup might be for you on whatever you intend to use it for. Now, what would I change about this if I was an engineer and uh, was getting paid all the big bucks? Well, first and foremost, of course, I would make this lid lighter. I just don't think it's necessary that they need to have all of this weight on top of here. And I would figure out a way where this perhaps could be mounted on the very top, maybe clipped in here or something like that, I don't know. I would also have a more practical handle that uh, doesn't require you to have to stick it over the top, which again has an issue with the lid and exposing a large area, a large gap of your cook systems. And then the other thing that I would change is I would have some way for this support bar to be able to stay in place. Uh, maybe clips or something like in here that once you stuck this inside of the canister, it would lock into place and wouldn't be so easily manipulated with your canister when it's completely full. Uh, that is what I would change. Overall, I think this is a great idea. They're onto something here, but uh, I just think that there's some things that they need to change on this to, uh, to really make it more practical. You know, for those of you that are thinking about getting this, I think it will work out well for those of you that are doing section hikes, maybe weekend trips that require a bear canister, and uh, you're not uh, needing to do anything more than just boiling water. But as for a through hike, a long distance through hike, uh, not something that would probably be really practical. And uh, you know, if you want to enjoy a cup of tea or maybe coffee or something like that, really difficult to be able to do this with this system. 
You know, you'd have to drink right out of this cook pot uh, on the top here, and that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Whereas something like a bot, you can eat and cook and drink all from the same thing uh, with the size of it. So anyway, that's what my final thoughts are on the Lighter One Bear Canister. Well, guys, that wraps up my review of the Big Daddy from Lighter One. Now, another thing of note from a cost standpoint, this costs right around $100, just a little bit under $100 out, uh, on their website or if you check it out on Amazon. Now, I mentioned I'm going to raffle off this piece of gear and how it works if you want to be entered into this drawing each and every month become a member of my patreon community now patreon i'll put the link below in the description box basically what it is it's a website designed to help support creators and we use the money that we make off of that website off of the pledges to be able to create videos specifically what i use the money for is to buy gear. I spend a lot of money on gear every single season, especially this last season with the few different through hikes that I did. And what I'll be doing is, of course, I'll continue to review every product that I have tested out on the trail. And I will be raffling off a number of products and giving them back to my Patreon community after I get done reviewing the product. So that's how the gear raffle is going to work each month. I also intend to do a bigger gear raffle for all of you guys. So folks that aren't just a member of my Patreon community coming up here, probably when I hit 15,000 subscribers and uh, more details to come on that later. So having said that, let's go ahead and raffle this thing off. So what I've done is I have placed all the entries into a random generator, again, with the criteria of depending on the level that of a Patreon that they are their pledge amount with how many entries they get. So I've stuck them all in this random generator and now I'm going to choose the person that's going to take this home. So drum roll please, the winner of the lighter one bear canister, the big daddy goes to Bill Keith. Congratulations, Bill Keith. You won this thing, I'll reach out to you and find out where you want me to send this to. Well guys, that wraps it up. Again, congratulations to Bill Keith. If you want to be in the raffle next month, make sure you check my Patreon site below. There will also probably be months that I will be raffling off more than one product, multiple products, depending on kind of what's going on. Thanks so much guys. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for many more sightings. Remember to always follow. Bigfoot.